I'm Sean Duffy with MedGadget. We're here with Richard Nofier from Invita Health. Um, he works with lots of healthcare data and he's going to tell us a little bit about his company um, and how his company interprets healthcare data and how he thinks it can be used to better clinical decision making and uh, outcomes. Thanks, Sean. Invita Health is an analytics, clinical analytics company and we analyze data for our customers from a clinical point of access. So whether that is a payer with claims data, a PBM with Rx data, or a hospital with clinical data, we're providing that analysis either at the point of care for a single patient and sub-second time to give better guidance and direction to the caregiver or provider, or for a payer looking at the population, millions of lives on a daily basis of who in their population is getting proper care, who's not, who's got gaps in care, who needs uh, treatment, and it's things that make uh, NVIDA unique is it's both real-time and batch with the same engine, as well as being able to consume data from any point in the ecosystem, and then third, to write the rules that our customers want to look at. So those are the three things that make it unique and is getting a lot of traction in the marketplace for us. Just to kind of bring it home to our readers, what are some uh, areas in clinical medicine you think are particularly exciting and you know, data can be used particularly yeah, sure. In uh, Beth Israel, in, in Deaconess in Boston, uh, all the imaging tests before they're uh, actually ordered go through our engine for appropriateness, effectiveness, and, and, and even do, does an uh, e prior authorization for insurance. And it does this all at the point of care. Um, so it gives the uh, ordering physician the best possible uh, outcome for the test or identifying the best test for that patient given that condition in those parameters. That's just one example. For a payer, it would be uh, looking at their population and identifying those folks that aren't getting the proper care, or gaps in care, and then messaging either their physician or themselves to go get a test or to get more you know, compliant with their medications or whatever it may be to try and improve care and lower costs. So in, in the example you just gave, what are, what are the sort of inputs that your analytics engine takes into account when it's considering whether the treatment is sure. efficacious or not? The more data that we have, the better. But if it's a payer, it's first and foremost claims data because they got a lot of claims data and you can get a lot of clinical analytics, uh, clinical information from that. But if you can get lab and lab values, if our pay, uh, payer uh, customers have lab uh, data, putting that in is super valuable as well as uh, prescription medications. What are they taking? How long they've been taking it? What are the different combinations of drugs? So those are these kind of three categories that are really valuable in providing the best uh, overall view of the patient that's going on. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so Appreciate much. It.